Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another AFK Journey video. And just now, I have beaten the story in AFK Journey, at least all the story that's out so far. We do know we have more coming down the pipe pretty soon. And I am at AFK stage 1125, which is as far as it goes. So I've cleared the like regular content in the game, gotten that as far as you can, and that unlocks Trial of Abyss, the like true PVE end game in afk journey and we're going to check it out we're going to see what this is all about i want to point out that my getting there coincides almost exactly with this letter we got dear magister congratulations to atraxia for being the first clear trials of abyss floor 330 so i just got to floor one and this man got to floor 330. All players on the server will receive the first clear rewards for this floor, which is five summons. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Atraxia, for five pulls for everybody on the server. I'm definitely not going to be competing for first clears on anything there. Um, and I think a big part of that, before we jump in here, a big part of that is the whaliest thing in the game is poles and the whaliest pole is the stargate station for example i'm sitting on seven of these i am 20 away from another pity on my rainier and i'm pretty sure these people who are like really pushing this right now are using units from the stargate station and good for them thank y'all for uh supporting the game i guess but i'm not even close to that and here is the trials of the abyss now the first thing i checked out was the rank you can see there are 11 people on my server who beat me here which makes it even more crazy that only 11 people are here a couple people have gotten to like floor 100 and some people i mean like this is crazy this man is flying through the content right now which you know good for them anyway we're gonna see what we can do the other thing i noticed was times five blue keys for five more floors required i was like man the prizes for this must suck but okay let's see i jumped in here i clicked this and i was like oh wait never mind the prizes here really don't suck especially this 100 hero essence hero essence continues to be again even as a spender it's it's hard to even buy this stuff, especially if you passed on a lot of those like Ascension packs that came out like right those like 12,000, 1200% value packs that came out right when you were ascending characters. If you didn't buy those, even if you wanted to keep up with the highest level like character players in the server, you couldn't. So it's nice to see a chance right here to get some more hero essence. I hope we see that on every floor. And you can see we're going to be fighting level 272 mobs. My ascension level is 210. So let's see how we do. Now, this map is fairly forgiving for this kind of, uh, you can throw a tank right here and basically clog the whole thing up. They do have some range. I'm going to try to snipe out their back line with a Vala. I'm going to put my summoner in here and then I might run you know what let's run double so oh, you know i'm gonna run Odie. Odie is really good at like cutting down these tanks right here that are a lot higher level than him with his poison i will go ahead and throw up star shard spell and let's just see if we can actually beat something that is what like 50 some odd levels higher than us and our tank immediately gets blasted back but we're getting that backline cc in odie has got his poison ticking and one thing that is really great about floribel is she gets that early early summon in so even though my tank gets knocked back like spear baby's able to go up there and take aggro for long enough for thorin to kind of recover and get back in there and start tanking again we actually win that without too much trouble and we pick up a sweet reward so i'm actually going to back out right there i want to go to floor two it looks like same level ish mobs and the rewards here looks like they're going to be the same so you can really start cashing in some rewards you love to see that these are high ranking enemies again though oh they have rhino boy Lumont going to be running our formation over. So in this case, I'm not even really going to pay much attention to my formation, or at least I might just spread out a little bit. They also have Shakir, who's going to be jumping on everybody. We'll see. I'll set up like this. Uh, let's just see how it goes. So I'm going to try one more floor here. Then we will uh, we'll kind of talk about how I feel about this, because I'm already developing some feelings. I... Yeah, hold on. Let's just see how we do. Now, Lumont, you can see how tanky Lumont is, and this is where Odie just shines. Like, his ability to execute Lumont for about 50% of his HP is just huge. And then on Shakir as well, Shakir will be in here just like life stealing for days. But because we got that poison tick on him, we do not actually have to burn him all the way down. Once again, we only had to get him to 50%. And I would say if you're not somebody who has those like super, super whaley, yo, mythic plus characters, 
Odie is probably going to be really, really clutch for this content. And it looks like the rewards are just going to keep flowing. So now we're at level 273 on the mobs. They're running that little like wombo combo looking comp. Let's just see if we could do one more. After this, after this fight, I, you know, I said I was going to do some more talking after the last fight, but after this fight, I do want to go look at um, a couple game modes in the game that I haven't really enjoyed a ton and then talk about this mode because it looks like this is just going to be a typical gotcha tower mode in the pro the, the, but there's a big difference here between other games I've played towers modes and this one. So let's talk about that next as we actually beat floor three pretty easily. Man, Odie feeling like the MVP. I don't know about the damage rankings there. Yeah, look at that. He was my highest damaging character right up there with Vala and Florabelle. So having three DPS, they are all carrying their weight, which is nice. But I feel like I've yet to fight a like terribly, terribly difficult enemy team. Still, it's super great to get access to more hero essence because you can see right here at 2388 hero essence just to uh, continue leveling past 210. It's expensive. So having access to some more of that is really nice. Now, what I want to talk about in terms of like tower content in these games, I'll show you the game mode, the PVE game mode here that I've liked the least has been Legends Trial. This has felt like just something I have to do. Once again, you do get hero essence rewards in this content. And so it's worth doing for that reason. Like I believe floor 60 is one of the floors and like 470 might be another one. Anyway, there is hero essence to get in here. So it's worth doing these, but it is sort of tedious, right? And like, I feel like every time a new, like, these roll back around. It's pretty easy fights. So I don't have to think about it very much. I just kind of push to whatever the next tier is. And it, it's kind of a something I feel like I have to do every day. And the rewards have been okay. In War of the Visions, another game I play, we have Tower in that game. And Tower in that game is massively tedious. Like, I'm, it is the worst game mode in War of the Visions is the Tower. The rewards aren't really worth doing. At least here, the rewards seem worth it. And in fact, I wonder if there's not like, I wonder if like floor five and 10 give like even better rewards. In fact, I might clear a few more floors and see. Okay, yeah, they do. You can see right here that I've unlocked the preview, at least, of floor 10. You're going to get two summons right there. So it looks like the special rewards are going to come every five floors, which is fine. I just wonder how hard it's going to get. I wonder how far I'll be able to push. I'm going to spend a lot of the rest of today pushing this content. And I want to mention, I have now played through the game as a spender. And I wouldn't even really call myself a light spender. I threw my whole gotcha budget for the last like month plus, honestly, at this game game. I have started a new account that is 100% free to play. It is a very, very different experience. That account is about to hit day five um, once reset happens today. And so I'm going to play through the game again on that free to play account. I have some ideas about how you should pull as a free to play player that I'm going to test because I think in theory, my ideas about free to play are good, but I don't want to mention them. I don't want to like throw them out there into you know, the internet talking space if the ideas are bad, but they revolve around basically only using your gems on the raid up banners and then just using tickets uh, on these other banners. And hopefully you can keep ascending characters at a level that will allow you to keep pulling here because as a free to play player, the first problem well, I ran into two problems. Problem one I ran into was I have pulled two copies of Floribel on my free to play account took 80 pulls. I had to pity both times, which really hurt my gym income as a free to play player. Now, after that, I could be pulling more, except I don't have another character yet at legendary. So I've had to go in and sort of like tinker with these, put a lot of A rank characters here, which honestly isn't a bad idea because having mythic plus characters in this game is huge. And so getting five copies of something that's A rank, I feel like as a free to play player might outscale getting one copy of an S rank character because you just don't get like the flow of polls is so much different. Uh, free to play compared to like whale and free to play compared to even light spender. The flow is a lot different. So I, I just want to see how that works out. I want to play through as free to play at least enough to know if my strategy works and you can get a on banner character to mythic plus as a brand new free to play player. And I'm playing quasi hardcore. Like I'm playing every day. So I'll, I'll let you guys know how that experiment's going, but I have reached the end game on my main account. My new account, my free to play account is just now beginning.
it's always on day five of its journey. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.